guys! Well, today I have my goggles on because I want to show you something that I have done with the jetty over here. Now, you'll have noticed over the last couple of videos I've done, what I've been trying to do is gradually bring some of the functions I have on the likes of my Radio Master through to the jetty. Now, make no mistakes, jetty's fantastic but they do kind of fall short a little bit on the FPV side of things. So, to start with, I have, as you can see, got a nice high quality print, and I can plug in my JL module over here. Any old JL module will work, and magic, off it goes. Does the job. But um, there's something else I wanted to do, and that's why I've got the goggles on. Now, Take a look over here and you will notice there's absolutely no wires attached to this. And on the back of my head, I've got my wireless head tracker. Look at that. When I move my head, the channel's moving, which is fantastic. So left and right, and you can see, and I can press the little reset button. Job done. Now, <laughs> the big question is how did I do that? Now, I'm actually just going to take all of this off quickly before I get into the works. There we go. I'll unplug that and you can actually see there's the wireless head tracker stuck to the back of my goggles. Again, it's all nicely 3D printed by the guys at 3D Print UK who do fantastic nylon printing. But what did I do? So, with the Radio Master, it has a multi protocol module in it. And one of the great things about the multi protocol module is that I can configure it to act as a receiver. Well, it's not so easy to do that under Jetty. So the DS24 over here actually has a wireless trainer option in it and it requires you, it's kind of geared far more to actually being a trainer. It doesn't work so well with things like the head tracker. And one of the reasons is that to, for safety reasons, every time you want to enable your wireless trainer, you physically have to go through menus and turn it on. Great for a teacher who's teaching someone to fly bloody useless for me when I just want to pick up my goggles and go fly. So I worked a different plan. And what it is, is I found Deltang did a tiny little micro receiver. It's literally the size of maybe 10 mils by 10 mils in size. It runs from three volts all the way through to 10 volts. So what I did is I bound my Deltang PPM transmitter, which is running a spectrum transmitter inside my wireless head tracker to that receiver and I hardwired it into the internal PPM port. And magically it all works. But um, I had to, um, I, I kind of had to pre-think this a little bit. Now, for those of you who know the Jetty, this is a solid milled aluminium metal case. It's a metal case on the back. And if I plugged a little receiver internally, it just wasn't gonna work very well because it's kind of this massive big Faraday cage around it. So what I've actually done is within the designs of my JR module bay, I actually created a little pocket to hold that. And I did that at the time, even though I didn't have the parts because I kind of knew that's where I was going. So the result is sitting just over here in this JR module bay is the micro receiver. And um, I can then optionally just take one of these and plug it in, which works quite well. But um, yeah, that, that being said, I'm very happy with the results of that. It's knocked off a huge number of the things that I wanted to resolve on the jetty. But um, I thought for general benefit, what I'd also do is throw up a couple of pictures for you here so that you can actually see what I've done. And it's not particularly difficult. On the jetty, you have a port. And I'm just gonna load up some images here. There we go, you can see a great big mess of an image where I have hacked apart my back cover of the radio. And you can see I've wired in from the port a little um, sort of 5 volt step up converter which then goes into a breadboard which holds the pins. And I've also got the wired into that, the pins from the PPM receiver going into it. There's really nothing more to it. Bar the fact my biggest issue I have here is actually that the little cut I made in the aluminium was not as neat as I'd have liked it, but that's the way it goes. You can also see as I go through these images, a couple more where it kind of just gives you a little bit more detail and clarity to what's been done, how the bits are wired together. There's really not a lot to it. It's basically just using the existing port and wiring the pins to it. And 
I think most people should be able to suss this out. You're just following JARP in format and off you go. So I really don't think I've actually done anything that amazing here in terms of rocket science. All right, closing a few windows. There you go. I don't think I've done anything that amazing in terms of the overall thing. I've just kind of applied different little bits of tech, plugged them together to make this work better on the radio. And there we go. That's what I was pointing at there a second ago. And it's fantastic. I'm really, really chuffed with it at the moment. What else? I still think the biggest niggle is that um, I don't talk protocol fast enough. I really, really want Jetty to realize that they need to start supporting these models at a slightly higher level. So let, let's do away with a global PPM out function. Put it on a per model basis so that you can choose a different protocol per model because I might on one model want to set it up as a wireless trainer with PPM to the computer. And in another model, I might want to output XBus or SBus. It's, it's, I just don't understand why Jetty have done this on a global basis, but it is what it is. It, well, there was probably a very good reason, probably actually not even a good reason, just basically didn't think about it. Um, yeah, such is life. But all up, that's a very quick rundown is what I've done. I'm very chuffed. I've got my wireless head tracker working over here. I have got my crossfire working over here. And pretty much I can do just about anything that I want on the jetty now, bar receive telemetry back to it. But that will come soon. I promise you that if I have my way, it will come soon. Anyway, guys, a quick rundown. Enjoy. Have fun. Cheers.